Hey everybody, welcome back to the Buick, 47 Buick on a 93 Caddy chassis swap. Uh, we just got through blasting the bottom of this thing and scrubbing it with a broom to get all the cobwebs out of here and all the critters. So we're going to come in here and blow all the little bit of water left. Um, you can see the back here where we had to extend the back seat panel forward to make room for the uh, rear kick up. I'm gonna go about an inch and a quarter. You can see the little space I made in the side of the body there. The chassis is all cleaned up. Uh, got the outbreakers all welded in. Got the motor moved back. Got the training mount moved back. Uh, it's all clean. We're getting ready to paint that dude. Um, uh, seemed like a waste of time to, or waste to not be able to, or not clean this stuff up before we put it back together. Or it'd be ashamed to do it now. So uh, we're gonna, gonna paint this all satin black. Um, and I'm going to undercoat the bottom of the car with this Sim rubberized undercoating. Now I use Raptor liner normally, but I got a good deal on this stuff. And I'll tell you what, it's as, as good or for the money. If I can buy this again for the price I paid for it, I'll be buying this from now on instead of buying Raptor liner. It sprayed really good. Um, I had to use my old Sim gun or my old uh, um, body shoots gun. But uh, it came out nice and clean, and uh, the, the texture was right. Um, if you ever shoot Raptor liner, it comes out a little heavy, and you got to kind of reduce it a little bit to kind of get it to lay down right. But uh, this was good right out of the can. Um, you can see here I have my safety gear on as normal. Um, at some point, I get my head out of my ass and get a, get a respirator. Yeah, give me a respirator. So anyway, we're going to spray the bottom of this thing with this uh, Sim undercoating. It's really just like Raptor liner, but a little better, I think. Um, then we're going to come back and we're going to paint the inch compartment with the uh, satin paint. Now, I'm in California and, you know, we just can't get decent satin paint out here. So we're now reduced to using uh, this latex based stuff. It actually works pretty good, but in a little long term so far, it's been okay. I'm used to using satin rust-oleum, but man, here in California, satin rust-oleum is $45 a quart. For $45 a quart, I could buy, you know, car paint, you know, regular car paint. So anyway, we're going to use this uh, latex from uh, Ace and uh, spray it on the engine compartment and on the frame. Uh... I'll do uh, two coats in the inch compartment and uh, two coats of the frame. Uh, and it should come out looking pretty good. But um, anyway, uh, we're, we got it all cleaned up. And uh, the bottom of the car at least will look real nice. And uh, no one's ever going to see it again when I'm done, I'm sure. But uh, at least we know in our in our minds that it's, it's right. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to watch me finish this up real quick. And then we'll uh, move on to... Uh, paint in the inch compartment and then uh i'll paint the frame that won't be on video it's pretty boring you know painting the frame is just like painting a frame big deal so um anyway i'll check back with you in a minute see me do it here but uh, I actually take all my empty bottles and put a little thinner in them and shake them up and pour them into one 
and I'll come back and uh, shoot the little areas you don't see, the kind of hard to get to spots, just to, to uh, use up all the rest of that Raptor or the Sim. But uh, anyway, to get rid of all your extra stuff, just to use a little extra thinner in the bottles and, and then uh, spray it out in your weird areas. All right, back to it. So you can see here, I prepped the firewall and the cowl area, inner fenders, set them all down pretty good. I'm imagining this car was actually blue. I thought it was black for the longest time. Anyway, so we're going to mask off the patina fenders and we're going to spray on the black. Coming up. So here it is, all cleaned up, ready to go. We've got the bottom of it all straightened out, got it all undercoated and painted where it needs to be painted, undercoated where it needs to be undercoated. That uh, sim undercoating is pretty nice stuff, uh, left a nice good sheen to it. Um, so we're gonna drop the body for the last time, I'll bolt everything up. Uh, the engine will be back. So here's the chassis all painted up, all nice and clean, all painted. And this is the top half of it. We're gonna have to paint the bottom half as we get up in the air. But for now, the top half is all painted. The part you're never gonna see again, actually. So, uh, yep, we're gonna put the body on it, bolt her down, and uh, put the motor in there, get her, uh, get it done. It took uh, three of us, like two days, to get this chassis cleaned up. And the only thing that was dirty was the front half, or the front section and the back section. But uh, anyway, we got it all cleaned up. It's got a little left on here and there, but we can only do so much with the chassis intact. Don't feel like disassembling it. So uh, there it is, all painted up, satin black. Uh, so thanks for watching the video. Uh, stay tuned for uh, the next drop, being about three days. Uh, by then, we'll have the body all bolted back on and the engine in it and doing all the small stuff. So talk to you later. Uh, please like and subscribe. I sure appreciate it. And uh, see you then. Bye now.